Yo, what's up? Wizard Foo here, and I got another video for you making a new game. Check it out. This is the 5-on-5 five five load ragger game. And what I'm talking about today is um, getting these perfect 45-degree rotations going on for the voxel models. Check it out. <clears throat> so here we have um, the camera rotated to a negative 45-degree angle on the Z-axis. Um, this would be 0. This is 45, positive. Let's go back to that negative 45 where we started out here. Um, so we've got the player, he's, he's rotated at a 45 degree angle. This is kind of the best we can get with that model um, looking like that at that projection. That's That means projecting all the 3D voxels into 2D space and making them look good. So, but check this out. If I walk uh, straight down, now I've got this perfect model going on. See how the player looks really good? Before I did all this, the player looked really, really bad um, because it was actually rotating the model in 3D first, right, to a 45-degree angle. And then the camera itself is projecting those 2D pixels as sort of at a 45-degree angle. And it just got two 45s together, and it just looked like crap. All the pixels were completely off. And um, But now you can see the player is looking pretty good. And if I walk to any one of these other angles, too, it's actually what it's doing is it's using this the model from this zero degree rotation. So if, when I'm here, the model looks like that, right? And then uh, when I go here and then move straight down to a 45 degree angle, it's using the same exact 2D projection. It's just a trick. It's actually, what it's doing is it's, it's well, let's look at the math and the, the code. It takes the, uh, the angle of the camera, um, the angle of the, uh, the model's rotation, and then if both of those are 45s, it essentially is just throwing away the whole rotation um, because it's using the original voxels at, at the unprojected un, uh, positions. So it's using the, the way, it's basically using the way the 3D voxels look at a zero degree rotation of the camera. Um, and then it's uh, messing with the rotation of the model so that it's actually just a 90 degree multiple instead of 45. And uh, rotating um, a model at a 40 at a, at a 90 degree angle is simply just a matter of swapping the x and the y, or or making one of them negative or something. You know, it depends on depends on which uh, 90 degree multiple you're doing. But it's all the very very simple calculation that's going to look really good at any one of those 90 degree rotations. So if possible, using 90 degree multiple rotations is really really preferable because it's going to make your models look super good. So that's the trick. It's basically just using a 90 degree multiple rotation. Um, and then it, and it's basically I've set up a special camera. Let's go to view and you can see um, I've got two cameras now. Uh, what's it? Construct camera? There it is. Yeah, so one of the cameras is what it was before. It's basically just using a um, the size of the frame buffer and the Z near, Z far. This is just an orthographic camera. This is exactly the same thing. Same exact orthographic camera, except this one will never be rotated. So it can always be relied upon to project voxels um, exactly as they would be at zero degrees, which is going to look really good and simple and nice because zero is a multiple of 90. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. Oh, the other thing you can see that I've done lately is I'm adding fog, and uh, I'm really excited about that. But the fog, see how the fog is moving um, straight from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen? And if I rotate my camera angle, it's doing the same thing, right? It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look 3D. So, and also, if we, uh, if we start walking around the screen, you know, or walking around the arena, we get... Um, the clouds are, are, are not moving with the player. It's a really weird effect as a, as a player to, to feel that way. So I don't know. Um, that needs to be fixed too. So what I need to do is basically come up with a system that moves the clouds in a 3D fashion and looks really good even if you're like way across the arena and um, it just all looks really good as you're, as you're moving around in 3D space. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, we'll catch you next time.